Hey guys, back at it again at my air rifle range, aka my backyard, with an interesting pellet today. It's the HNN power drivers. I have them in both 177 and 22. And these pellets aren't new, uh, but I haven't seen a lot of videos on YouTube about them. I haven't really seen a lot of people test them. And today I want to try them out. I want to see how they perform because supposedly they have better or way better ballistic coefficient than your traditional pellets. If you guys don't know what ballistic coefficient is, I'm put it on the screen right now. And they're supposed to retain their velocity, which will retain their energy at you know longer ranges than your traditional pellets. So we're gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna crony them. I'm gonna do an accuracy test both of them with my 177 and 22, just to see how they uh, perform. You know, I'll, I'll be very happy if they perform well um, because they're pretty good pellets. They're about 21 grain in 177 and 30 grain in 22. So pretty heavy pellets. But I don't know if I should call these pellets. They're more of a bullet shape, which I I assume that's why they're gonna retain their BC better. But we'll see. And of course, uh, we need a, a control test. That's why it's gonna we're gonna use our 177 10.3 grain and 22 18 grain. So control base test. We'll see how they perform. So let's see. So you can see from a close-up look, the 177s on the left and 22 on the right, they don't look like pellets at all. They have that, I would say, watermelon shape. And on the 177s, they're pretty long. Uh, that's how they can make them heavier. On the 22, they're just chubby, but they are a little taller than the 18 grain. So pretty good looking pellets. They're pretty clean, pretty uniformed. So I expect... Mm, great results hopefully but we'll see like all H&M pellets they're very clean and very uniform so I expect consistent weight with all these pellets too bad I don't have a scale with me one thing I did notice on loading them on both my magazines it's that they they're pretty loose no oh, so this is how you load them up you see that little um, you want to say hollow point in the end that's the bottom the round nose is the top anyways the pellets are pretty loose uh, on both magazines so that might or might not be a good thing uh, load that one backwards we'll fix that in a bit but they fit pretty well even though they're a little longer so I wouldn't worry about them not fitting in your magazines if uh, size is an issue. They're not like polymags. Nah, they fit great. So they're pretty loose. So I have to kind of hold it with my finger. And then the tension on the magazine on the 177 holds them in place. But they fit, and that's what's important. Before we start, these are the rifles that we're going to use my 177 BSA and my trusty old 22 Air Arms. The BSA is supposed to have a hammer forged barrel, which is supposed to be not very pellet fuzzy. We'll see right now. My 22 is, it, it kind of likes a certain amount of pellets, but it kind of doesn't. So I'm not expecting a lot from it, but hopefully it surprises me today. I'm only going to take two shots with each rifle. First with the air arms, shooting the JSBs and then the power drivers. And same thing with the BSA, I'll be shooting the JSBs and then the power driver. Something I've noticed when you're loading up the power drivers, you really have to force them in here to get them in the barrel. I 
I'm just giving you a close up look of the crony here, so you guys don't think that I'm just giving out uh, random numbers here. So all these shots are 25 yards, shooting the Jays Beast first and then the Power Drivers. And I'm not going to get into the formula on how to find your ballistic coefficient, but basically like the previous clip, you shoot at the muzzle and then your second velocity at a certain distance and you can see, um, you can find out your ballistic coefficient right there. Um, the 177 lost significantly uh, amount of velocity there and then the power drivers come in and almost no velocity loss here for the 22 and the 177 got a 50% increase in ballistic coefficient so these pellets certainly work as you can see now I almost never do accuracy tests with pellets because they will all vary with different rifles but what the heck I uh, just wanted to see what uh, these pellets would do on my rifles here Damn. falling asleep but let's end this video so these pellets perform very well they do what they're intended to do uh, to that is to have a high BC uh, it's gonna vary with your rifle with accuracy as you can see my air arms did not like them my BAC did except that one flyer uh, but it still did pretty good um, I'm surprised it did that but I should have stated this earlier uh, even the label says for PCP rifles only and they really are you know you need a very powerful pre-charged pneumatic to um, throw these pellets down range your standard PCPs like mine just shoots them at mid to high 600s with which isn't that good and break barrels nah, forget about it it's just it's not I don't think it's powerful enough they may just get lodged in the barrel so I, I recommend that you don't even try them but if you have a very powerful PCP, uh, give them a go. Um, if they work in your rifle, you have a very exceptional um, bullet slash pellet here. And let me know how you do with it. So, hope you guys have a good night. Well, good night with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.